So in terms of the breakdown, I mean, I think this is it right here. Yes. Yes. Yep. Welcome to the So when we did Holy Baby, that was the first time that Jay, you know, made the Blazettes reference. I'd like to introduce my band right now. Just blazing the Blazettes. <laughs> and that was really because it just felt like such a live record but i think that goes back to my dj sensibility i was the weird kid that would play out like raves techno parties but i was playing it like hip-hop i kind of developed the following because of that because i was the weird kid probably sometimes the only black kid that was there playing this kind of music and cutting it up in hip-hop sampling is like alchemy it's an art form that rearranges space and time and the producers who build on the tradition use sonic DNA from the past to cook up the future. Now, even when you know how it works, it can still feel like magic. Just Blaze might be hip-hop's answer to James Brown's eternal question, can the drummer get some? Now, whether he's tapping out sample drums or utilizing live drummers in studio, his ability to harness energy is what makes his beats so dynamic especially when they're back in the most powerful couple in hip-hop. Funny thing about that record, Questlove hates me. We're friends, but he hates me because I remember he hit me. He's like, yo, who played the drums on that? I'm like, dude, that's me on my MP. That was a huge, I guess, booster for me internally because one of the best hip-hop drummers ever is thinking that that record is a live drummer and it's just me emulating that with my, you know, with my fingers. So next up, record that I have with Jay, uh, called Show Me What You Got. It pulls from a few different inspirations, a few different sources. The first of which would be a classic b-boy anthem by Johnny Pate called Shaft in Africa. After, you know, we kind of had the Shaft in Africa hooked up, the track at the time sounded something like this. So just from that little bit of drumming, I'm like, you know what? This would actually sound much better with a real drum kit underneath it. Called uh, My Little Brothers 1500 and Nothing. So uh, we all jumped on keys, guitar, bass, organs. When you put all that together, I'm an excellent drum programmer. I'm a halfway, halfway decent drummer. But there's no way that I could play that by myself live or program that. Last but not least, Freedom off the Lemonade album. Beyonce came to me with the sample. Very rare, very hard to find. And it was just this. And she was singing just over that. And it was a dope tension into it, but it was just, it, it, it still felt linear. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't moving. So. My thing was, all right, let's leave it raw and tense for the first maybe four bars, and then build that up a little bit. So that's when I started to add the extra percussion. The hits are coming. In the demo, she's singing about freedom, so I'm thinking about war, drums. So that's when I went and started to add a lot of the... <coughs> It feels like a statement, it feels like a marching band. Again, I try to create moments. So if you went right from that marching band right into freedom, freedom, you, you almost lose the intensity. You got, you got to break it up because if you just do straight wall of excitement the entire time, it's too much. You know what I mean? So you have to kind of have to create those spaces.
Yeah, I've never really tried to set a trend. I've never tried to accomplish something or overthrow the sound or change. I, I'm not, it's, I like, I love it when it happens. That's not what motivates me though. Like, I'm one of those guys that's just happy to make a living doing what I love. Funny that you mentioned that somebody asked me literally not even 24 hours ago if I'd be interested in putting together a Just Plays in the Plays That's tour and like me DJing, full live band, and then like different artists that I've worked with over the years. The Just Plays in the Blaze That's uh, show sounds like a fun show. 